Hello and welcome to Heresy, the discussion programme that banishes to the naughty step all forms of received opinion. Tonight, Matt Lucas, John Colshaw, Henning Vane. 60% of this audience agreed with the statement, Germans have no sense of humour. Henning Vane, you are a German comedian. You really are, aren't you? It's not just an English bloke putting on a funny voice. Nine, nine. No, but you have chosen to... You have chosen... If you'd done another one, I would have called the police, obviously. (laughs) Uh, But you have chosen... (laughs) <laughs> but you have chosen to work mainly in the UK. You, you call yourself the ambassador of German comedy in Britain. Yes, it's not the easiest of jobs. No. No. Because indeed the British, they, they always say we Germans don't have a sense of humour. I don't find that funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, thank you very much. It took you only three seconds yeah, to, to start mentioning the war there. Yeah, no, with, uh, that's true. With the great leader there immediately speaking to us. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. But okay. uh, I mean, the story is, I mean, Germans, we do have a great sense of humor. We just don't need to bang on about it. Yeah, and we, we rather bang on about quantifiable success such as three World Cups or the current Pope, yeah? I mean, I mean, that is things. Yes. The current Pope is, is of course, himself an, ex, an ex-Nazi, isn't he? Um, and, um, um, but I think, I genuinely think that one of the things that, uh, that is indicative about the German sense of humour is, is Hitler. Uh, not because, I'm not because, no, honestly, not because he himself was that funny, but because any other nation, I think, would have spotted straight away that he was completely ridiculous. You know, the tash, the side parting, the shouting. Other countries would have thought, we can't really have this bloke who looks like a really cross Charlie Chaplin uh, <laughs> as Chancellor, don't you think? I mean, he's just judged the way he is because he lost. <laughs> So, and I That's mean, it's true. not about the politics, it's what, what I can't stand about him is that he lost. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I mean, what? but uh, the thing about humour is totally overrated. Especially that British style of self-deprecation. Yeah, what is self-deprecation? That just is total lack of ambition. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't do it and then you try to laugh it off then and say, ah, oh, yeah, I really made a mess of that, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> Uh, you have to laugh, haven't you? No, no, you haven't. You should be bloody ashamed of yourself. <laughs> of course, Germans have come up with many things that have made people laugh over the years. Smart cars, uh, lederhosen are, are generally funny. I've always thought it's funny that in German the word for father is farter. That's always funny. <laughs> Oblivious nakedness, I think, is a very funny thing the Germans have. Like, well, last time I was in Berlin during the World Cup, mm-hmm. there were in the English Garten in Berlin, which is, of course, there are lots of Germans running around naked. Now, why, why is that? Why does that happen? Yeah, I think that's pretty normal. If it's warm, yeah, you take the kit off. So the thing I can't understand is over here, yeah, I recently was up in Newcastle, yeah, it was about zero degrees, everybody naked. So, and then for me, to, yeah, then for me to warm up during the day, I go to a spa, yeah, into the sauna. So, and there I see all the British are wearing the full kit in the sauna. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't make any sense, does it? No, but we just, it was a sauna and not just a very hot pub. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think it was. Well, um, let's go to... Yeah, your... but your clothes are off because they were all on the deck chairs. <laughs> hey! <laughs> now, the, this programme is supposed to challenge received opinion, <laughs> for goodness sake. But, Matt, what do you think? I mean, you, have you sold Little Britain to Germany? Actually, is there... we just, it just got sold and it's been dubbed into German, yes. So there's a Little Germany... <laughs> Uh, yes, what did you say? Kleiner Britain. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it's called? No, no, I, no, I just said that. Was that right? Scary, that was. You know, where are all the famous German comedians? There's then? one here. Yeah, what's your name? Henning Vane, is that how you pronounce it? Yes. That sounds like the first half of a proverb that you go, well, Henning Vane. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like, oh yeah, you've got, you've got a point there. <laughs> <laughs> Henning. There is no need for comedy. I mean, there is, I mean... The best case scenario, if you do stand-up comedy, is that you leave the stage to the same amount of applause that you got brought onto the stage. I mean, it's a very negative performance art. I mean, you can only lose excitement. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basically, you walk onto a decent applause, yeah, and then you do 20 minutes, so in best case scenario... <laughs> What's the point of that? No, you can't, that's the most German thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> 
Fantastic, brilliant. No, because, I mean, in everyday life, there is more than enough comedy. So on the way up here, I saw Granny falling over. <laughs> Uh, I mean, no, that is nothing, funny, you're right. Is, that is, that there is, always is nothing funny. funnier that? Than, than anyway. Yes. I mean, <laughs> Did she do that thing of shaking a bit from side to side before she fell? I, I love that. <laughs> do you think it's unfair to say that a whole country has no sense of humour? Yes, you, you can't say that at all. There was a, a feature on Radio 1 where that lovely DJ Scott Mills did this thing. Of, he says, we're going to phone Germany and let's see if we can make a German laugh. And so he would phone a random number in Germany and, um, you know, the person said, Hello? except in German. <laughs> I've forgotten what the word is for hello. Uh, guten day or something. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Henning? What is the word guten for hello? Tag. Guten, guten tag. tag. Yes, guten, guten tag. tag. I know a, a German I word. A German I know it. Um, <laughs> Kartoffel salad. Potato salad. Anyway, <laughs> go on. Sorry, sorry. Matt, do you saying? just know the words for food? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. I know that one. Anyway, John, so uh, sorry. I always thought well, that... It's good how proud the British are when they can get out one or two words of a foreign <laughs> language. <laughs> I mean, doesn't doesn't need to fit in there, yeah. Uh, uh, John. Yeah, well, yes, well, the, the, this, uh, Scott phoned this random number in Germany and he said, Hello, uh, I'm going to tell you a joke. Uh, there was a man walking along and he passed uh, a man walking his dog. The dog had its two front paws on a wall, and he asked the gentleman why was his dog doing this, to which the reply was, uh, he's done that ever since the wall fell on him. And, and the person in Germany on the phone went, yes, that is good, thank you. <laughs> yes. Why did the dog stand there with his paws <laughs> up the wall? That's the thing I didn't get. Well, yes, I didn't quite get it either, I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> well, if you picture it, <laughs> I didn't quite get it. But it was, after all, Scott Mills's joke, yeah. so no wonder it was rubbish. Was it the Berlin Wall he was standing on? Because that did fall down, of course. Well, so. I mean, to me, the logic didn't work, because, you know, the dog was trying to prevent the wall falling on him. My guess would have been that perhaps the dog would have been killed yes. when the wall did fall. So. Yeah, there was no wall left. When? Yeah, when the wall when was fell there, no. already. What is he oh, yes, That's true. Yeah, it's another wall, I think. I think the idea is the dog is permanently scarred by the first wall, yes, for, yes. and now he does it on every other wall. Very funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you see, you see. You see. Can I tell you a, a joke, which I, it's not my joke, but I thought you might be interested because it says everything about what the English people think about the Germans. An English couple have a child. After the birth, medical tests reveal that the child is normal, apart from the fact that it is German. Uh, the doctors tell the parents this isn't a problem, and as the child grows older, it dresses in lederhosen and has a pudding bowl haircut, but all its basic functions develop normally, except for some reason the German child never speaks. Uh, the concerned parents take it to the doctor, who can't find anything wrong, and years pass. The German child's mother is very distressed by this, but attempts to conceal her sadness, until one day she makes the German child, who is now 17 years old and still silent, a bowl of tomato soup. Soon the German child appears in the kitchen and suddenly declares... Mother, mother, this soup is a bit tepid. Do you want to tell the joke? Do you want to do the punchline? Oh, I, get I know it. the punchline. Yes, I, I know you know it. <laughs> I know you know it, but I'm asking if you want to do it when I get to it, because we're yeah. workshopping it now. Yeah, you okay. tell. Yes, yes. You do the, you do the bits in between. Yes. And then if when the funny bits come. You know, when I'm told to do something in the accent, as a Jew, I am frightened. I have to tell you. <laughs> But I'll, I just Never happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've, I've got that. See, I've got a mixed response to that. <laughs> yeah, I, as a Jew and a gay, uh, mm. I could be offended, but I'm delighted that you silenced Badil. You know? yeah, <laughs> um, I'll go with you on that. Yeah, no, up, up the revisionism. Yeah, We've got, we got to finish the joke anyway. The German child's mother is astonished. That all these years, we assumed you couldn't speak, and you could. Why? Why did you never say anything before? Up until now, everything had been satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> It's a brilliant joke. It's a brilliant joke.